Wheat Killers for Bermuda Grass Both a long grass and an invasive weed, Bermuda grass Cynodon dactylon is classified as a warm season perennial grass, and it grows in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 7 through 10. It spreads the rhizomes and stolons modified stems that grow horizontally below ground and along the soil surface. Weed killers control weeds in a Bermuda grass lawn and Bermuda grass that invades turf, garden, borders and other areas of the yard. Weed Seeds Pre-emergence weed killers control weed seedlings in a Bermuda grass lawn. Applied in spring and fall, pre-emergent herbicides create a chemical barrier on the soil surface that controls crabgrass digitaria sanguinalis and other annual weed seedlings. Apply a 1.71% bendimethylene product at a rate of 2 pounds per 1,000 square feet in early spring. If no rain is forecast for the next 48 hours, water the lawn, applying half inch of water. Apply the pre-emergent herbicide again in early fall to prevent cool season annual weeds, such as chickweed Stellaria media and Henbitlamia mamplexicol. Don't apply pre-emergent herbicides to newly seeded lawns because they damage grass seedlings. Established Weeds When you see weeds in a Bermuda grass lawn, a post-emergent weed killer can kill them without killing the lawn grass. Apply a ready-to-use product containing 7.59% 2,4-D, 1.83% Makoprop P and 0.84% Dicamba when weeds are actively growing, but no more often than twice a year. On a dry, still day when temperatures won't exceed 90 degrees Fahrenheit, water the lawn if it hasn't rained in the previous 24 hours, and put on long pants, a long sleeved shirt gloves and safety goggles before applying the product at a rate of 4 fluid ounces per 1,000 square feet, or according to the manufacturer's instructions. Post-emergent herbicides can damage Bermuda grass shorter than 2 inches. Bermuda grass control Selective weed killers control Bermuda grass and garden borders. When Bermuda grass invades garden beds, it can choke out other plants but herbicides that target grass control Bermuda grass without harming desired plants. Put on protective clothing and apply a product that contains 0.48% fluosifop p butyl in early spring before the Bermuda grass is 6 inches long. On a dry still day, spray the product lightly at the center of the Bermuda grass plants, and spray them again after 7 days and before the grass regrows to 6 inches. Don't spray the product near ornamental grasses. Spread a 2-3 to three inch layer of garden compost or another mulch after the Bermuda grass has withered to prevent its seeds from sprouting. Bermuda grass in lawns Bermuda grass in a lawn is difficult to control, but may respond to some weed killer treatments. When Bermuda grass invades other lawn grasses chemical options are limited because herbicides that kill the Bermuda grass will also kill desirable lawn grasses. The pre-emergence weed killer pendimethylene prevents Bermuda grass seeds sprouting in established lawns, and glyphosate controls patches of Bermuda grass. Protect other areas of the lawn with cardboard sheets, put on protective clothing, and spray a 2% ready-to-use glyphosate product on the Bermuda grass patch on a dry still day when the grass is actively growing, or apply the product according to the manufacturer's instructions. Alternatively, to treat a small patch of Bermuda grass, dip an old paintbrush in the glyphosate product and paint Bermuda grass stems and blades, taking care not to touch it on the other grasses. <laughs>